So real quick video, tomorrow is Apple's iPad 2 event out in California. They're supposed to be unveiling the next generation iPad. It's going to have front and rear facing cameras, uh, same size screen, same resolution, a dual processor, dual core processor. So it's going to be faster, twice as much RAM, as much RAM as the iPhone 4. And I... Now they're going to be able to do subscriptions with 4.3. I think you're going to start seeing a whole lot of uh, magazines and newspapers start taking advantage of that. Also, there are some rumblings that Apple's going to do something with their mobile me service. They removed all of the physical boxes or just stopped shipping physical boxes of mobile me. So it's maybe m moving to a free service or you're only going to be able to sign up online and who knows what's going to happen there. I think it's a really cool service. I like having email aliases that I can just create, and then that all comes into my regular email. So that's pretty neat. I publish my personal website on there. You can track and locate your iPhone, share your photos, movies, blah, 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 all the cool stuff. And... So hopefully there have been some rumors that maybe they're going to start allowing you to back up your music and movies to the cloud or, you know, back them up and then stream them to your mobile device, which would be cool. Who knows? We'll find out more tomorrow. Um, it's, it's still time. We're way overdue for an iWork update, so I'm ready for that to come out. And Apple's kind of got a little bit of a problem on their hands. They started uh, distributing their Apple uh, OS X Lion developer preview through the App Store and I had a problem where I was not at home, I had to pause the download, then I went to go resume the download thinking, oh well it's on my you know App Store account so it'll remember that you know I was downloading it. No such luck. So I sent a re you know, ticket into Apple saying, hey, I was able, unable to download because they generate you a um, redeem code and you enter that. And once that's been entered, you can't re-enter it. So I submitted a request asking them to generate a new redeem code because I had download problems. It's now been three days. I finally got an acknowledgement email this morning that they'd receive my request and they would be assisting me in a timely fashion. Uh, it seems to me that that's perhaps an awful way to distribute a three and a half gig file that can't be re-redeemed. Um, it may work on other platforms, but I think if you're a developer, you know, it, you should be able to easily gain access to the tools you need to, to develop. I'm mainly downloading it to get a preview of Lion, to be honest. I do plan on developing an iOS app uh, at some point, but I basically am a nerd. I want to see what's going to come out. And so not being able to download uh, and get a hold of that. I mean, once you've paid your developer money, I'm not sure why, as long as you follow the rules... Um, but anyways, I've seen some of the previews, looks cool. Lion's going to have cool, like, versioning, automatic versioning of documents. So if you, you know, save a document and say, well, you know, actually, I'd rather, let me go back to what I, where I was at yesterday and maybe pick up a sentence or pick up a paragraph. You're going to be able to do that. It's like time machine for your documents. Um, also, they're going to be including the actual copy of Lion server with Lion, so no more having to shell out money for Lion server. You're literally, it's going to just come with it. It's going to be one and the same. Um, so cool stuff there from Lion. That's pretty big. Although it's kind of ironic that they're doing that now that they've discontinued their servers. But I guess maybe that was one of the reasons that if you're not having to pay extra for a Lion server, you can run Lion server on any Mac that is compatible. Um, bunch of cool stuff. The new mail program looks kind of like the iPad 
mail program, the two panes, you can still choose to go back to the classic view. Um, and also they're pushing full screen apps a lot, so you can, you can go mail full screen, literally. The dock goes away, everything. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. Um, and they also have like a centralized account panel in the system prefs, so it's like iOS where you just add like your Hotmail accounts, your Gmail accounts, and then you, you know, decide whether you want your contacts to sync or just your mail. So that seems pretty neat rather than having to, you know, enter account info in your address book and your mail and you can just enter at one place, select what you want to sync, and you're done. Um, Steve Jobs may or may not be at the event. Still some, still some ambiguity as to whether or not he's going to show. Um, I've actually heard that the iPad may be shipping close to immediately um, with a bunch of resellers or app, Apple, you know, authorized retailers showing zero stock or that it's already been deleted from their system. Uh, so, we may not have to wait weeks and months for this thing to come out. It may be this week, next week, it may be really soon availability. And there's always the ability for Apple to throw in a wild card and <sighs> do something we hadn't planned. But that's happening tomorrow at 1pm, which is unfortunately in the middle of class. So, my productivity during property will be shroop, as I have in Gadget and boy genius in the background automatic re automatically refreshing but anyways that's a little bit of apple news uh, i'll talk to you guys after uh one o'clock tomorrow